more to it than that. What's up, Saints TV? I went to the gym the other day and shot my workout, and I wanted to put it in a vlog, mainly because this is a great full body workout that's perfect for beginners and also for more advanced people that work out and lift weights. A lot of beginners can really benefit from a full body workout when you hit all the compound movements and really work all the muscles in your body. So that's what this video is, is a full body workout. And I'll break it down with you and do some voiceovers because I didn't shoot any audio in the gym. Um, I just had my GoPro and shot a bunch of GoPro footage. So I'll put that together with me talking about what I'm doing over the video. All right guys, I hope you like this video and hope you enjoy this workout. Thank you for watching guys. All right guys, heading to the gym right now. Don't forget to warm up. Make sure you do at least five minutes on the treadmill or elliptical, bike, whatever you want. As long as you get your body nice and warm and do some dynamic stretching. Squats to me is the hardest workout and works the most amount of muscles. So that's why I do it first. Most importantly, make sure you have good form. Don't worry about the weight so much as your form. Your form should be perfect before you put any weight on, really. And just squat low and squeeze at the top. After squats, I'm right on to pull-ups. I like to keep this workout moving. I like to do three to four sets of each exercise in a row and then move on to the next exercise. If you're not strong enough to do pull-ups, do pull-downs on a machine and adjust the weight accordingly. Next I'm on to shoulder presses, and I always do one warm-up set, basically with just the bar, before I add any weight. I'm not using a ton of weight in this workout, just make sure you can get 8 reps, and make sure you can keep moving throughout the workout. Meaning, don't rest too much, don't rest for 3 minutes in between sets. Take a quick breath, grab some water, and get right back onto the next set. Next them onto the bench press. Just make sure you squeeze those shoulder blades together. And really squeeze the chest at the top of the movement. There's more to it than that.
right after wide grip chest, I go into narrow grip chest to work a lot of chest and triceps at the same time. Then I'll move into bicep curls, all with the bar. I don't even put any weight on the bar because my biceps just respond to pretty much anything. Next I'm on to deadlifts. These are more like a Romanian deadlift than a traditional deadlift where I keep my legs as straight as possible. And at the end of the workout, you can take whatever body part is lacking or behind, for me it's always my legs, and add a couple sets to the end of the workout. So for the end of my workout, I'm gonna do leg presses, and then leg curls, and leg extensions on the machines to finish up my workout, just because I need a little extra work with legs. So whatever your weakest body part is, just pick that and work it a little bit more at the end of your workout. And at the end of the workout, don't forget to cool down. Check out our merchandise at shopsinslife.com. <laughs>